Hi devs, I'm Cyber Settler and today we are doing a Blender tutorial and in this uh, opportunity I have um, a cable I want to animate for a game and um, it has uh, two ends, a male connector and a female connector and this cable is um, about half a meter long and I want the cable to uh, bend as I um, move the, the the connectors. And here's uh, uh, the result of what I want to do in this tutorial to show you guys how to do it. So we have this um, this end. I'm now selecting the the male end of the cable and as you can see I can rotate it there you go it's hard uh, I can rotate it while um, viewing it but you see here that I, I rotated and then the, the cable is um, taking the shape um, depending on, on the rotation. And if I, if I move it, if I try to translate it, then um, basically since this is the parent one, it won't it won't make a it will move everything because this is the the parent um, element so we have the male connector the cable and the female also if i select uh, the female i can then switch uh, If I select the, the female in the armature and then switch to pose mode and now I have the female selected and again I want to rotate this so you can see here that it also the cable is um, deforming to uh, match the, the movement of the connector and in this case also I can um, yeah, well, these are the, the the armature handles here, but you can see what I'm talking about. Like, um, I want this to to every time I move the connectors, I want the the cable to move accordingly and deform itself, deform the shape. So. So let's uh, see how we can do this. Let me switch to the setup of the of the of the project here. So I have the two connectors. These are um, just um, some meshes that I prepared, and um, you can have whatever um, mesh because this this is a special kind of connector. And now what I want to do is to um, add a, the cable, and this will be the this will be a cylinder, right? So the cylinder I want it to be eight vertices, and with a radius of zero point zero zero seven, and the length is 0 0.55 I think that's enough and the rotation is in the X and it will be 90 degrees and we just uh, move the cable so that it fits within the two yeah this would be around uh, 35 here this is like the middle of the the midpoint between the two connectors so now we have those things 
Also, um, we will subdivide the this this is the cable. Let's name it cable, and let's subdivide this. Uh, now, first, let's select the 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 edges. We need to select every edge and now we subdivide it and we want 10 divisions there we go so basically these divisions are to um, to make the cable um, these these divisions will will um, move the this cylinder or deform this cylinder along all those uh, divisions so uh, imagine like it's a sort of a chain with each uh, subdivision being a link in the chain okay so that's uh, that and now we will start adding um, uh, the bones We will add first uh, an armature. Let's go here. Let's add an armature first, and then we had um, it. It brings with it uh, a single bone in the armature, as you can see here. So now, um, if we go into the modeling, now we see that there's uh, an armature here. An armature. Um, it's called a uh, tab or menu and now we want um, the, the armature uh, each bone has a tail and a head and um, the tail um, the, uh, the, the the head is the root and the tail is the we want to to um, connect uh, the cable to the to the tail so the first thing is to um, place the the bone in the right way so we rotate this uh, to ninety degrees so the head is now looking forward and the tail um, to the back so uh, to the direction of the cable in this case and now we just want uh, basically you control the 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 the, the bones uh, through the um, the connections right the, the head and the tail so let's um, we want it to be at zero uh, the tail as well zero uh, we want to move the head to the zero so it's aligned with the with the connector and uh, also the tail should be closer to the what was this i don't yeah no there i think that's okay uh, zero zero seven there okay we have the i think that's okay uh it's now the bone is aligned to the male connector and now we can add um, other bones let's add uh, we need two more bones uh let's name the bone by the way what is the yeah Let's name it male. Let's add a single bone. And uh, this bone, we will call it 
female and again we have like the same process here we rotate it Ninety degrees here. And again the same process, right? We we just um the tail we will want it in uh zero point seven and the the head will be zero fifty five I think no it's less right or it's more sixty five fifty eight what was that now let's try to move it no. Fifty eight, sixty, sixty two. Also, the this is zero and this is zero, so it's aligned there. And I think it needs a little bit more. I think sixty four, no. 63 then there that's it so there we have it we have the the bones aligned to the connectors and now, and now we introduce another bone And this will be uh, the cable. And let's rotate 90 degrees. Okay, and then the, like the the ends of it will um, be the same as the as the tail and uh, the tail position of the male and the head position of the female so here it was uh, minus zero point <coughs> zero seven it was yes and this one was minus 63 there and then we can uh, we can change the radius and by the way the roll should be zero this roll angle should be zero and um, the radius should be I don't remember now for the male what was it? Ah, 0 0.1 and 0 0.05 the tail, okay let's see if we can match that one 0 0.1 0 0.05 okay okay so we have the that's the the cable but the important thing now is to have um, we will switch to the envelope mode because the envelope is um we will see like the influence of this um we will see the influence of the 
of the bone in the in the meshes we we added so we switch in the viewport display from octohedral to um, envelope and I think we should do the same with the rest of them yeah okay and now we need to bring down the envelope right I think also the radius yeah 0 0.01 there we go so now um, we have like an envelope around the, 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 the shape and it's uh, it's clear what we are working with here <coughs> also let's do that for the cable <coughs> zero one the radius zero point zero one zero point zero seven Let's do it for the female. So zero one. The roll is zero. Okay, yes, there's um <coughs> <clears throat> sometimes when when we change the the values they are not automatically um, they are not instantly changed sometimes so you have to switch uh, you have to switch the the viewport to see them Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay, so I think this is um, good for now. And uh, we have our armature with the bones. And and now we need to connect the bones, right? Um, in this case, we have the cable. Should be connected to the like uh, you go here in the relations the the parent of this one should be the male cable right and you should uh, click here that they are connected right and and you see that it just made the cable it it, it made like a hierarchy here the male now is the parent of the of the cable and we have to do that with um, with a female as well, but the female will ha will have the parent uh, cable, and will be connected. And now you can see here that the female is there as well. So so here you see right that if I uh, move the the male, you see that um, the if if I move the bone. Uh, the rest of the structure moves um, but not the still we don't have the movement of the of the um, of the meshes that are that we want to associate with them so um, that's it so and the, and the male doesn't have any parent that's okay and now um, we switch back to the to the layout view 
and we need now to select um, all the things by the way I have some uh, pins here these pins are in the mail uh, in the mail connector you can see them here those are the pins so also we want to um, to select the pins select the pins the mail all the all the meshes that we want to align with with a uh, with armature or to to be controlled by the armature select the armature as well and then we press ctrl p to make the parent and with automatic weights so now you see that all the the um, uh, meshes have gone inside the armature the next thing we want to do is to assign um, each each mesh to the proper bone in the armature so select the the mesh and uh, they are in the um, in the here in the object in the in the um in in the the mesh uh, the object data we have these vertex groups so now we need uh, we we have the bone names here and we what we want to do is to assign the 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 mesh to the bone and we have to do that in edit mode so let's go there let's select everything let's go here to the object data uh, tab and select assign to the mail right what mail is um, selected and now we go go again to the layout let's go for the pins do the same thing here select all so we select all the vertices there all the yeah and we assign them to uh, the mail as well go to the layout and now let's select the cable modeling let's select everything and assign them to cable now the female modeling select all assign to female there we go so that should be enough now let's select the armature go to modeling and to change like uh, the, the to to be able to to see all this um, deformation we um, have to go to the pose mode okay and in pose mode then we can change well this is the since this is the parent is moving everything um, but uh, yes this is the parent so it's moving everything here you can see that i can move the 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 connector ah of course and uh, we forgot something this way it's not doing exactly the um, the cable bone should be um, a bendy bone that's um, to to in order for it to behave as a as a cable so this is a, a critical part here and let's go to the modeling uh, here in the in the
in the edit mode we select the cable and there is this um, uh, section or this tab called bendy bones and we want to have 10 segments so we subdivide the the cable uh, into a bendy bone and you can see um, if you want to see the bendy bone you have to um, select the display as bendy bone and there you have it this is the bendy bone and now this should work as expected so now if we go to the pose and rotate I'm still not it should also rotate okay um, okay but you can see here that the when when i um rotate the the female it's uh, deforming the the cable right yeah if you want to see it uh, i think um Yeah, if you select the 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 bone here. Yeah, I think the the, the thing about the, the the male is that is the parent of everything, right? And that's why it's not deforming. Uh, I think before we had some deformation when rotating the 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 male, but I think this was because I have some other um, other attribute change there but we can see uh, that the me that the fem when we uh, move the female we get this uh, these movements right and these are these are like the the handles of the of the armature you can see it there and I was ah yes the viewport we can we can hide let's hide everything so we can see it better Okay, and the uh, male as well. Yeah, now everything is hidden and you can see there how it's uh, bending, right? And this is what we wanted. So, remember that um, this is, um, the, the bendy bone is, is used, for example, for, um, you know, skeleton, for the backbone, right? Um, but in this case, what we wanted to do is to use the armature to deform uh, a cable to simulate like um, how uh, a cable will, would um, change its shape if we um, rotated the, 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 the connectors. <coughs> and yeah but still the like the the male uh, we cannot like we we are not um, affecting when we when we move um, the male it it moves um, the whole um, the whole skeleton because the male is the the parent of everything that's that's what's happening there so if we show it again we move it you see that everything moves 
and if we rotate it as well so maybe if we had another like if we had the handle of the of the of of the bone then we could ro rotate that single bone uh, only but this is um what you have here um I don't know if, if we do it locally. No, it's the same. Okay, but I think that that's what I wanted to, to demonstrate in this um, small tutorial. I was uh, struggling to, to do this, to create uh, this uh, effect. And finally, I um, got some, I found some information about how it is done and well and now i'm sharing with you what um what i learned i hope you find the this tutorial interesting and useful and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off